Brookfield Infrastructure, BIP.UN, Toronto Stock Exchange, and BIP in New York. Um, trying to look for recession resistant names and British, uh, British, Brookfield. I don't know if I was going to say British Petroleum. That makes no sense. Uh, Brookfield Infrastructure Partners uh, would be one of them. So it's categorized under utilities, but really I think infrastructure is what they, they, they call the name and it makes a bit more sense uh, because there's definitely utilities in there, but there's also transport like uh, rails uh, and ports and things like that that they, uh, that they have built and uh, collect fees on. Uh, they're also in energy uh, and communication. So it's really more than a utility, it's great. Now, those other businesses that are, let's say, non-utilities are, you know, pretty close cousins, so they're not exactly, like, you know, stretching it out to a totally different uh, area or, uh, you know, a complete conglomerate, which is uh, unrelated. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. So it's one of the largest global infrastructure companies in the world. Um, it's only $12 billion market cap. That's U.S. dollars. Everything I'm going to talk about is U.S. dollars. However, it is 42 billion um, enterprise value. So they have financed a lot of this through debt, um, and I think appropriately so, although it will look like a high debt to equity ratio, but they're really getting their financing to do these projects. They're all secured, uh, low cost, uh, highly secured debt financing. Um, now, when we see, when you see the the actual profile, it's not gonna, again, it's not gonna blow you out of the water with, oh, look at those great returns. It's a low return, but super consistent, and growing the business, paying out the dividends, and, uh, you know, I'll take that, especially in this environment. Um, let, uh, a couple more things I think are worth, we, we talk about it as global. So you can see our graphic there, the, the kind of the darker gray is where they operate. So North America, Canada, US, Brazil, uh, some other countries in South America, but Brazil, primarily Europe, uh, India, and Australia are their primary markets. Uh, so you get a global play. You know, I always say, you know, global funds are clearly growing, uh, but you don't actually have to invest in global funds. You can buy companies like this, which are global operators, and you still get that same kind of diversification. Uh, numbers have been really solid. Uh, really love this company let's take a look at our model and as i said it will not blow you out of the water in terms of the return on invested capital kind of low and consistent but that's, that's that's a utility and i said some of their other businesses are pseudo utilities and i don't expect much more than fives and sixes uh, and the valuation is great so you also see growing their assets and investments significantly and still getting that return. So there's no real lag and that's often a, an, an issue, not an issue, it's a, a reality or an, a factor you have to think about and deal with and try and figure it out. So this is a little bit easier because you're already getting a return, albeit low, you know, it could be longer as these uh, assets kind of have a chance to generate more cash flow without more investment. Um, and Obviously, you can see the stock chart, pretty good stock chart, long-term especially. Two-year chart hasn't been too spectacular, although a one-year return is quite good at 14%. Also pays a 4.2% uh, dividend yield. It's been very consistent. In fact, I've been growing that dividend every single quarter. Um, what else can I say? Um, I'm, uh, w why would you buy it? You buy it for a dividend yield, you buy it for safety, you buy it for global, uh, recession resistant. These are the kind of things you want to think about when you're talking about um, Brookfield infrastructure. And by the way, I think I love almost every Brookfield company. Um, you name it, Brookfield Asset Management, Brookfield uh, Renewables, uh, Brookfield Properties, like just anything Brookfield uh, seems to be a winner every single time and this is certainly one of my favorites so all right so that's uh, Brookfield uh, infrastructure BIP dot UN on Toronto Stock Exchange BIP on New York
Thank you for watching our investment video. This is the same analysis we provide to our institutional clients. Want to improve your portfolio? Simply subscribe to our YouTube channel below, or better yet, go to our video website at video.fsavaluation.com and get access to the entire library.